Okay, dear children, uh, we have studied in the uh, previous chapter about the gravitational, and here we are going to do the problem solving over here. And uh, here is given that more over here we should know it that what is the uh, constant reading of the gravitational that is six point six seven into ten raised to minus eleven newton meter square per kg square. This you have to know it very well, dear students. So the problem is like that over here. Calculate the gravitational force due to the Earth on Mahendra in the earlier example. Now here we are going to calculate the gravitational force. So force formula you know that G that is gravitational mass one mass two upon radius the whole square. You know very well this thing. Now mass of the Earth is what m one is equal to six. To 10 raised to 24 kg, where radius of the Earth is r, where 6.4 into 10 raised to 6 meter, and Mahendra mass is uh, given m 2 is equal to 75 kg. Now going to see that this is a mass one, and this is a mass two, which you have to know it very well, dear children. So when you are writing the formula, you should know it very well that the force law formula is what g m one. M two. That means that gravitational multiplied by mass of the Earth and the Mahendra mass. This is all you have to multiply and divide by the radius. That is the whole square is given. Now here we have put the value of the g. What is the g value? That is gravitational six point sixty seven into ten raised to minus eleven and m square by kg square into then m1 you are taking it that is the mass of the earth is given 6 into 10 raised to 24 kg and mahendra's mass is m2 is what 75 kg upon 6.4 into 10 raised to 6 meter the whole square this way we have to write it now after writing this thing this step you take it Just don't put it this uh, newton meter uh, square by kg square. That you don't put it. Just take the numbers, and now you have to do the calculation over here, dear students. Just pause it. Now, six point six seven multiplied by. Ten raised to minus eleven multiplied by six into ten raised to twenty-four. Okay, into seventy-five. I'll just split it so that you will come to know in a very easy way that how the answers are coming. And this, the whole square we are putting six point four, the whole square into ten raised to six, the whole square. This way will come. So this steps comes. Therefore, therefore, F is equal to. Now you have to take this one, six point six seven multiplied by ten raised to minus eleven into six into ten raised to twenty four into seventy five upon. Six point four into six point four. Twice you have to put it. Multiply by six two is a twelve. That is ten raised to twelve. Now how it is going? See that you will come to know. Therefore, F is equal to units tens hundred. That means that six point six seven ones tens, and this is hundred. So it will come. Decimal point will be removed. So, one hundred and sixty-seven upon one hundred into ten raised to minus eleven into six into ten raised to twenty-four into seventy-five upon six point four into six point four. You have to multiply it there and ten raised to twelve. This positive. Therefore. F is equal to. Now here see that how to do the calculation. Now you know that here, dear students, 
Now this one is there. This 24 and this 12. You minus it. How much you will get it? You will get 12. 10 raised to 12. So here this thing is gone. This full is gone. This full is gone. And this will become 10 raised to 12. So now this 100 is there. If I two zeros, 100 will go. So this will become how much? 10 raised to 10 will become. So you have 667 multiply by 10 raised to minus 11 into 6 into 10 raised to 10. Okay, multiply by 75 upon 6.4 into 6.4. Now here 667 multiply by now here you subtract it 10 take out 11. How much you get here over here? Yes, tell me. So it will get 10 raised to minus 1 unit. We are subtracting it, taking the indices theory into 6 into 75 upon. Now here is given over here. 64 upon 10 into 64 upon 10. So this way it becomes. Now you have to do the calculation. So, by the way, you will get it overall 733 newtons. You will get it. You have to do the calculation this way. Now, this is very easy to do the calculation. Just pause it. Now, the answers I am getting 733 newtons. I am getting. But over here, I have even more uh, clearly tried to explain it so that you can be able to understand it, the concept. Uh, here the same thing I have carried over here. You can come to know over here. 667 into 6 into 75 into 10 raised to minus 1. I have written the same thing whatever is there. Upon 64 upon 10 into 64 upon 10. I removed a decimal point. So 10 space cut. Now uh, here what I did over here. Again I have written the same thing whatever the uh, numerators are there. The same thing I have carried out. Same thing. And below that, 64 into 64, I multiply, I kept like that only, multiply by 10 times the 100 I did. Okay, up till here you understood. Again, same I repeated here steps. And here, 100 I written in the form of power. I have written in the form of a power, that is 10 square. So, 10 square, it is positive. I made it into negative, 10 raised to minus, because I brought it up. So it becomes this way. Now when I take this 10 raised to minus 1 and below 10 raised to minus 2, if I take it up, so minus become what? Plus. So from 2 you take out 1, you will get 10 raised to 1. So this 10 will be. So 667 into 6 into 75 multiplied by 10 upon 64 into 64. So if you try to club this total, if you do it, you will get the value 3, 0, 0, 1, 5, double zero we will get it like this upon 64 into 64 if you multiply it you will get the value 4096 you will get it this way and when you uh, divide it this so you will get in the decimal form that is you will get it this way that is 732 point in the decimal point you will get it point seven eight eight like that you will get it so what I did it, uh, more than 5 it is there, it is coming, so 1 point I have increased it, so 7, 33 it comes, Newton. This is the calculation, you should know it very well. Sometimes what happens, students uh, uh, fail to do the calculation, they lose the marks for that, because they don't know that the calculation. So in gravitational topic, it is must that the calculation should be thoroughly, you should know it. So here the basic, again it comes the indices, chapters, what you have studied. So have you understood this thing? Okay.